Hey, what's up guys? Tales on the Gamer here and welcome to Ready or Not. Now, all you need to know about this game, it's like a tactical SWAT game, basically. You take the role of a SWAT commander and you have to go through different missions and arrest suspects, rescue civilians or hostages, whatever they are. And that's it. Boom. Mission done. And all you need to know for this video is that I am the best SWAT commander in the world. That's it. This game has been out for a long time, and I had this game for a while, and uh, there is a campaign mode. I already beat the campaign, but recently it got updated to Unreal Engine 5, so it's looking hyper-realistic now. So when I heard about that dev blog coming out saying, oh, they're going to update the game and this and that, I waited for it to get updated, and now here we are. And so... Yeah, I'm ready to go and do the single player and do this uh, the campaign all over again. But just a heads up, uh, some things in this game, as in the people that you have to arrest, the situations that you have to deal with, some of it can get really dark really quickly. What? Uh, commander mode. So, yeah, this is my save file from before, but now I'm gonna start a new Iron Man disabled. I don't know what Iron Man mode is, but I'm gonna have that turned off because I'm not an Iron Man. Alright, commander mode. Okay, thank you. Attention, commander. You are about to embark on a grueling journey through the streets of Los Cienuelos, where death could lurk around any corner. There will be no restarts or second chances once you enter a mission. So bring your A game. Your team's lives are in your capable hands and any losses are permanent. Should you want to cut your losses at any point during a mission, gather your remaining team and return to your initial entry point in order to exfiliate. Wait, exfiliate? No. Ex ex exfiltrate. Yeah, I can read. But where? While this will preserve your officers lives it may have a detrimental effect on their mental state as your team gains experience through successful missions their traits will become available to them giving you further options on how to assemble your ideal entry team are you ready current commander of course I am I'm always ready <laughs> all right as you can see we're in the oh these doors are closed as you can see we're in the police station and as you can see there are a whole bunch of stuff all over the police station so welcome to ready or not before you start your first mission there are a few preparations that need to be made open the tablet by pressing tab and using tablet you can view the, you can view your team's traits as well as hire new officers as you lose personnel in order to customize your own and your team's gear Head straight through the briefing room towards your SWAT unit room. Once you are satisfied with your setup, head into the briefing room and interact with the briefing desk to select your first mission. Alright, please shut up. As you can see, we have this guy, this guy, that guy, and that dude, whoever they all, whoever these are. And as you can see, their traits or their special abilities are these right here that are grayed out. So for us to unlock those, we have to play through some missions. But I want to show you the... Porter, please call desk. Shut up. Anyway, I want to show you the the police station a bit. As you can see, we got all these missing people right here. And another thing is that you'll notice how very detailed this game is in terms of environment and level design. As you can see, you got this dude over here and whatnot. Can I go over here? Of course. Look at that. You can even see what's on the screen. That's ridiculous. That's an insane amount of level of detail. Um, so yeah. Over here is a shooting range where, you know, you shoot at the range, of course. Over here, we have the loadout section where we can modify stuff. And this man just thinking to himself. Oh, and we can customize our character as well. And back here, we have more... Yeah, the lockers. Yeah, the evidence locker, interview room listening room like this is literally the most detailed game I've ever played in my life 
Detective Bureau. Okay. Alright, so, first things first. We're going to check if we can switch out some people. We can. We got a negotiator and a SBAGS. Decreases the overall stress level of your team. That's cool. But, um, yeah. Don't need anything else. Alright. So, you just chilling here? You're looking tired. Why not drop by my office for a chat? What do you mean by that? Um, how is that going to make me not tired anymore? Do you have entertaining conversations? You know what? All I need is just some coffee. Okay, where is it at? I don't, where, where is it at? Huh? Uh, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to just give myself some coffee. Yeah, put that there. Do I need another one? I'll oh, place the cup. Yeah, exactly. Look how detailed this game is. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Give it to me. Give me the coffee. <laughs> Look at that. Take care of yourself. You weird, buddy. You're weird. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they got donuts too. Of course, of course. We're all cops. All right. Now we can go over here and choose our mission. The first one being... Thank you, come again. So, for some context, there are over... Uh, there are 18 levels in this game, in the base game. And they recently ha added a DLC called Home Invasion, but I don't have that DLC yet. So I think for this first episode, I'm, go I'm going to do just only four levels. Of course, the first one being this one. And as you can see, my world record was a 2 minute and 46 second with a great S because I told you I'm good at the game. We do not care. Seizing a moment of opportunity, a pose of delinquent young adults execute their plan in order to support a crippling addiction. That's wild. Alright. Before we go in there and do it blindly, there's a briefing. With, this is the mission debrief. These are suspects that we need to arrest. These are civilians we need to rescue. And there's some media with some photographs of stuff here and there and of course the 9-11 calls like I said I told you this is the most detailed game I've ever played but um Chief let's start Alvarez, with the please call desk. Chief Alvarez, please call desk. shut up Alexa I don't want to hear you right now all right let's start with the debrief listen up at around 2300 we received multiple 911 calls from the 4U gas station at 5th and Van Drake and Southside we believe this to be a stick-up robbery with multiple armed suspects. At this current time, we don't know the condition of 4U manager Mudasir Varma or Sharla Layton. Both calling in during the robbery along with multiple other civilians in the premises, including Sharla's daughter, Crystal Layton. First responders began locking down on the scene at 2340, containing the area for Deep Platoon's arrival. An officer on scene reported the sound of gunshots at 2345 within the main building. We can identify all three suspects on the scene. Andre Williams, Zion Pretlow, and Jaden Fletcher. All have their own run-ins with the law for drug-related offenses or violent crimes. Be advised, some or all may be under the influence of methamphetamine and incredibly erratic. This potentially showing their true motives to feed a lethal addiction even with the stick-up being high risk. We can assume their move was calculated, with DeBanco stopping by before the robbery for regular pickup of cash stored on the premises. DeBanco's employees are known to be at risk during their shifts, with many criminal acts committed against them, such as assault and attempted robberies. Along with the front entrance into the store, there's a second method of entry into the diner side area on the northern side. If both locations aren't viable options, there are two alternate entry points on both sides of the building. One may require a key card used by employees. You should be able to find it in an ox box on scene. Suspects may have broken away from the main building into the side garage on the eastern side. Exercise caution when moving around the exterior. It is unlikely the suspects are wearing armor. They are armed and have demonstrated their intent to cause harm. We do know at least one of the suspects is carrying a 9mm semi-automatic pistol, as described by a witness. Remember to only use lethal force on what you deem as an imminent threat to you or your element, as well as civilians present at the scene. Plan and coordinate your actions accordingly. And get to work. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll get to work. So yes, yeah, you can see, look at these ugly, disgusting, like, what are you looking at? With your, look at your eyes. Y'all, you, how you, 
you probably can't see out them eyes. You look blind. And y'all just look like you... Y'all just look average. Look like your stereotypical... Oh, I'm gonna rob the store. <laughs> Let's see. The roster. So this is what they're carrying. Obviously, I have to fix all that. And I'm gonna show you soon. So, first things first. What are we going to need for this mission? Well, this mission's easy. It's like basically no thought and there I am look at me look how detailed my stuff is I look completely ready what you looking at anyway I'm just going to check out uh, test out the accuracy of these guns at the shooting range real fast as you can see is it just there's so much stuff going on in this room right now, especially with all the detail and whatnot. Oh, look at all the bullet casings on the ground. Anyway, turn that on. Oh, in this, you have a canted tilt. What's it called? Canted mode? Canted tilt? Yeah. This is for close quarters or close quarters type of stuff. Anyway, let's see here. I'm going to put that on full auto. Yes, it's very highly accurate. That what I said did not make sense. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I'm gonna be doing. That's uh, let's do the mission. I don't know why I just did that. Yeah, we on our way to the gas station. I mean the the grocery store. What was it called? I don't even know. I think it's the gas station. Yeah, we're on our way to the gas station. About to take out these crooks. Arrest these crooks. I got you. Yeah, you ready? Talk to Element. Yeah, Suspects we got a camera. Have a foothold in this area. And they're refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. As you can see, we also have a, a team camera here. So we can see what everyone else is. Uh, we can see everyone else's POV. Look at this. This dude already on the ground. Entry team to talk. One wounded civilian. Requires immediate medical. Talk reporting. Copy. Clean house, and we'll take them out. As you can see, we got the kidnap, the kidnapper van over there. And what I usually do for this mission... Oh, okay. Don't even. Mm-mm. No. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Click, 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 clack. Okay, now. Huh? Where you at? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hands up, Don't you? Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even. You are the dumbest person on this earth. I can't believe you would do that. Anyway, where's that door? Block it off so no one can run. Because listen, these people, we, we're not trapped in here with them. They're trapped in here with us. That's why I like wedging the. up! Do it now! Shut up! Huh? Stop this madness! What are you doing? Are you crazy? That's what you get. You think this? Is, they said, "Look, I know the the briefing said they're on they're on some uh, methamphetamines or some type of drugs, but listen, you gotta be kind of slow to actually think that you can actually shoot at a SWAT team looking like this." Don't you cuss at me. Who did that? You're gonna get fired. Thinking you can just sit and shoot at a SWAT team, thinking you can actually do something. Please, look at this. Mirror gun. There we go. As you can see, it's clear. It ain't nothing. So kick the door open. Kick the door open. I love doing that. It makes me feel powerful. Lead the talk. One civilian down. All right. To element. Roger, entry team. Notifying medical. Now, sometimes these dudes like to camp over here. I'll zip it up. Okay. Making it safe. Oh. Get down and keep your hands up. I don't got time for this. Yeah, take that. Huh? Let me see those hands. How you get obstructed? I thought you were No! Don't run! Stop! What is your problem? Oh look at that. We brought order to chaos. 
So that, yeah, we're done. So with that done, we have gotten everything. So there you go. So our objectives, all the suspects are done. And now we just gotta get all the civilians, find the one girl in the store manager. Alright. Okay. Yeah, my right arm it kind of hurt. Right? No, that's my left. My left arm kind of hurting, but it's fine. I'll bag it. Yep. Okay. Evidence good to go. Anyone in here? Can I search it? Who going through the? Who coming in the store? Search and secure. On it. Yeah, search and secure the area, man. Search and secure. Yeah, get them people. Element to talk. We have an individual in custody. Yep. I'll tell you what we're doing. Alright. Talk to entry team. Copy. Ready to move on. Talk to element. Copy entry team. Why are you walking backwards? What are you doing? Alright. He got that under control. Talk. We got a deceased civilian requesting Thames. Like, Talk he got blasted. What? Affirmative entry team. And look, he was trying to steal some money too. Y'all scandalous for this. We're gonna get you out of here. And there goes the we're last ready, one. Ready go. Look at that. Need to talk to entry team. Good to go. Excellent work, entry team. Easy. To center for debrief. Easy, easy, easy. Four minutes, just like that. All right. As a um, I mean, this is like an intro, like an introduction level. So it obviously was going to be easy, but the second level is when we actually get into the main story or campaign was going on and as you can see uh... measures for the DLC I've heard a few worrying things recently and noticed an alarming trend of rising negativity regarding the LSPD in the eyes of the public I just wanted to check in and see how you were handling it remember to take some downtime between missions and let yourself recharge I never fizz out I don't need to recharge I'm the charger <laughs> All right, easy work. So it's time for the. Switchboard, Chief Alvarez, please call switchboard. What you looking at? Nah, he's just traumatized. That's how it is. That's how it is with these first responders and these SWAT people. Like they gotta deal with this crap all the time. Like. You're not looking too sharp. Need to talk? Nope. I don't need to talk to you. Why you keep doing this to me? Look at my double stack magazine. See that? See how there's two holes? Why are you sitting there looking like? Why do you even have a vest on? You ain't doing nothing. You 96 years old. You think you? You know what? I shouldn't disrespect. I shouldn't dis. I'm not, I'm not gonna disrespect. But just like, listen, man. You should just be at home in the wheelchair, not sitting there, standing there, looking like you about to actually go out <laughs> and stop like a, a terrorist attack by yourself. But I like his confidence. Anyway. For this next mission, uh, I didn't look at the briefing yet. I don't need to because I'm a pro with this game. I'm going to use. I'm going to use a different. Uh, I'm going to use a different rifle. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a different rifle. I want to have variety with my stuff. I think this one's good. I think. Maybe you know what? I don't know actually, but yeah. And for the pistol, I'm going to change it to something else. As you can see, we have a Magnum and a lot of other pistols right here. Now, the Magnum is very powerful, but it has a slow rate of fire. So basically, if you miss, you're cooked. But it does have good accuracy, but it's only a six-shot capacity because, you know, it's a revolver. I don't like six-shot capacity weapons now unless it's a shotgun. And here we have my second favorite pistol in the game, the USP. It's my second favorite because of the fact that I've seen this gun in Resident Evil games, like Resident Evil 3 Remake and the Resident Evil 4 Remake. So that's cool. Uh, a suppressor and a laser pointer. So there we go. Won't have that there. Have all my stuff the same. And I'm going to keep my team's loadout the same as well. So now it's time to select the second mission. That is being 23 megabytes a second. Situation. Mike and Williams has killed his mother and taken his younger brother hostage. LSPD has been tasked with responding. Move quickly. So here's the briefing. 
Huh? Press the button. What the heck? Okay, I think my thing broken. Come on. There you go. All right, everyone. Need your attention. Operators just received a 911 call from an individual within an apartment complex in St. Uriel this morning, detailing a brewing hostage situation. It seems that Michael Williams has barricaded himself in his apartment along with his brother Demarcus. He also shot and killed his mother, Cassandra Williams. The call was brief, but gave us information regarding his potential mental state. Has anyone tried to regain contact with Michael? The call bounced when attempted. And calls from negotiators outside have fallen on deaf ears. It sounds like Michael may be firing a weapon inside his room, and we've received multiple reports of gunfire from other individuals within the complex. The building has a single entry through the main atrium. There's also a second entry point through a fire escape nearby, which should allow quick access to the other levels without exposure to your teams within the atrium. The watch commander is on scene and has patrol holding perimeter positions. Thames is staging at the command post. Currently, they're awaiting our arrival to make entry, as the situation has been deemed dangerous, given no communication can be established. Do we know of any other threats within this space? Michael's apartment is number 14, and so far we've managed to confirm that rooms 16, 11, and 12 are all currently inhabited but closed off. Those residents have either been evacuated or are sheltering in place. However, we were unable to make contact with apartments 13 and 15, both of which are under the ownership of Michael Williams at this time. It is unknown if he is still barricaded with his family in 14 or has moved into one of the other rooms to ambush. We are not aware of any other threats. It seems to just be one guy. All right, let's roll. I will tell you this right now. First and foremost, it is not just one guy. I repeat, it is not just one guy. And second of all, look at this ugly. You don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. This is awful in every way. If I could kill it, I would. But I legally can't. But I've considered it. Average fat mouth, hair on the side. He might as well just be. He might as well just shave it off. Be bald. Look at this. Five eleven. You weigh two hundred and twenty pounds. You obese. Michael Williams, also known as Milky Toes, is a popular open house streamer known for his frequent outbursts. He has barricaded himself within his apartment along with his brother. That being Demarcus. And Cassandra, well, that's Demarcus. Cassandra, that's the mom. Cassandra Williams was the mother of Michael and Demarcus. She was reported dead by her eldest son, who dialed 911, and other civilians. These, these are the same hood rats from the first, from the first level. And look at this. That's his, that's his streamer thing. Detective Bailey. Listen, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's this second level when you when when things start to really pop off, and because of that, now I'm gonna still have my um I still have my same equipment, but I'm gonna change some things. First and foremost, I'm getting the gas mask. Everybody getting poisoned. See, we the we are the A team. We are the real life A team. All right, we go in and we save the day like usual and get traumatized. Okay, you're good to go? All y'all good? This is Talk. Entry team. There may be one or multiple active shooters on site. Move quickly and clear the area. Look at that. See, you can actually leave. Like, you can actually just rage quit and just leave if you don't, if you feel like it's just too much. But anyway, we're going to go up to the side right here. And... Uh, I don't need to wedge the door. So on, over on here on the right side, there's this room or door, and you, and there usually be a lot of people in here. As you can see, there are people in there right now. Open it. Open and bang it. Confirm. Yeah, open and bang that door. I mean that room. Look at this. Someone right there. They gonna get shot. Flashing. Hands up now. Oh shoot. Finally awake. Well, I forgot I had a gas mask. I should have drop. Let me through. He body blocking. Element of talk. Collecting evidence. Okay, close this door. 
In fact, where's the door? Yeah, Lock where's the door? I'll wait you. Is there people in there? Alright. Clear over here, boss. Okay, there ain't no one in here. Got them all zipped up. Yeah, break the door. Talk to element. Copy that. Trailers are going anywhere. Walk away. Entry team to top. Evidence good. Suspect secure. Ready to go. So as you can see, there is a server farm going on in here. Like, look at all these graphics cards. Like, who, who needs that much stuff? All right, fall in. Behind me. I got you. All right. So. One thing I like about this is that you can remove the wedges if you don't think that they're of good use anymore. But um, as of right now, we don't need to do that. Are you falling in? Dang. Provide support on me, not your back. I should wedge this door too. Just because. Lock that door. How block it? Yeah. Alright. Now I'm gonna go upstairs. Now sometimes they're usually sometimes there'll be people on these stairs. Oh that door is open. Alright. I don't know if anyone's in there, but I'ma just throw this in. Show me your hand! Oh nah. Nope! That's mean! Get in the room! Get in the It didn't work. Get down! I want to see hands! Clear the room, dang nabbit! Mm -hmm. Why are you standing there? Aren't you supposed to do this stuff by yourself and not need me for help? Why are you just sitting there? Go in the room. Go in the room. Go. Why am I opening up my tablet? What the heck? Go in the room. Go in the... Oh. Hold up. Moving and clear. Moving up. Like, do your job. I don't get paid enough for this. Going in. Opening on the left. Police! Hands in the air! Let me see those hands! Come here, sir. Come on, I'm giving you a chance right now. You're so stupid. Is that the mom? I thought you were dead. What you crouching for? This ain't Minecraft. Huh? LSPT, come out now! That's your problem. Who the hell are you? I'm the police. What the hell is going on here? We need to talk. One civilian detained. Did even they? Okay. Why are you looking like that? You look ugly. Oh my goodness. All right. On me. Look at all on these you. boxes, man. Look at this old TV, man. I haven't seen TVs like this in years. Um, as you can see, they dropped a little chem light that lets you know that. Oh, really? Really? Sucker? I, is that a... I didn't... I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to throw that. What the heck is this? Is this the right one? I don't even know... In the way, Chief. Why can't I see my loadout? I don't even know what... Suspect is incapacitated. Am I holding the right one? Copy. Clean house, and we'll take them out. Alright, I don't even know which one this is. What the heck, dude? Is this a flashbang? Oh, okay. Nope. You're cooked. Hot! Oh, you're... What are you so angry for? Dang, man. I'm kind of messing up right now. That's my bad. I couldn't see my HD. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going downstairs. How much ammo? Okay, I'm good. Peek around the corner. Hands on your head. Move. Down on your knees. Um. You're stupid, man. Where did you keep... Where do you think this is? Have a hostage? Look at my leg. You know what? Well, he's dead anyway. He ain't going to jail for life. Civilian is good to go. Compliant. Talk to entry team. All right. Great work. Keep going. I'll get him ready. There's always usually one person down here near the entrance. Talk. Stop cussing. Talk to element. Might get banned. 
now we gotta go all the way back up to this uh this one right here this is room 40 something something i don't know yeah room 14 apartment 14 and there we go he's right there blue team you know what go team give me a c2 then get him and i'm gonna throw a flashbang in there just with me just to be safe they ain't ready for this good to go cover your ears boys Yep. Three, Deploy two, explosive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put that down. Put that down right now. What you on your phone for? What the? F he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's actually dead. Oh no. This man needs to get replaced. Uh I tell Um This is This isn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Oh no. He's cooked. Stop coughing. It ain't that bad. Crap. Um Okay, just pack it up. I got nothing here. Just just got it back. Alright. I do shit. Be quiet. Suspect good to go. I ain't do Talk to it. I'm picking up some stuff. Roger that. Trailer's incoming. Proceed with caution. Alright, so as you can see, this dude that we just arrested is a nerd. But um, he's actually worse than that because if we go into this room over here. Shut up! We go into this room right here. Be quiet. As you can see, he had his stream running. And he believed that he was gonna get away. Look at this. Anyway. As you can see on the screen right here, this is his Discord basically. And he got pictures of children. So that's bad. And over here, he has actual pictures of children. Which is really, really bad. And in here, he has the worst offense of them all. And that is this. You know what? That ain't good enough. Come in here. Come in here. Come in here. Start a search. No, 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 not that, not that. I'm with you. Deploy. Drop C. I'm gonna gas it. Now deploy. I only downloaded Flash. Suspect ready to go. Don't you hear that? You feel that? You feel it? You smell it? You feel that? Don't you feel that? Come on. Get your butt in here. What you think this is? What you think this is, huh? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, how'd I feel? How'd I feel, dang it? How'd I feel? So yeah, we got the mission subject, mission objectives, the soft objectives, rescue the suspect, not the suspects, we secured the suspects, rescued the civilians, and the officer died, and apparently an unauthorized use of force because I shot the wall, because I was mad. So, he has been incapacitated, but oh look, he unlocked his little special ability, which is cool. Uh, where, where am I? What room is this? Did I get put into detention? What, what? what are you looking at? Oh, that dude, that fat. I need to recruit another officer. Oh wait, they already did it for me. Riot control. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he's incapacitated. Oh, that means that he is he didn't die he just got well incapacitated he got basically knocked out or something like that I need this dude to unlock his ability to release stress um the next one is now twisted nerve the detective has been following a new lead to locate a key source of methamphetamine storage in Los Suenos tracking a potential affordable housing development in 213 Park I hate this map I hate it but um, we have no choice but to do it. And let me give you the briefing. 
Gear up, boys. Our detectives just hit the jackpot following a new lead for methamphetamine production in 213 Park and need some door kickers for the job. They booked this tweaking gangbanger for shooting up a 4U station the other day. The fool had a note in his pocket all about this meth lab in 213 Park. He was planning on spending his earnings from the robbery up there. How do we know it's legit? Good question. Well, as our luck would have it, a uniformed patrol just happened to drive near the house a few days ago and picked up what they presumed was a hit-and-run victim by the side of the road. It turned out he was a runner for the guys that run the neighborhood. He admitted everything while in the back of the ambulance. He was in a bad way and wanted to clear his conscience. He'd pocketed the cash from this big deal he'd overseen. He was planning on skipping town with this hooker or something like that. They tortured him in the attic of this house and left him for dead. Once the hospital got him stabilized, he sang like a bird. He told us everything he could about this place in exchange for immunity. What sort of premises are we dealing with? We're dealing with multiple. There are two properties, both empty. One went into foreclosure and somehow got lost in the bank systems. Nobody's touched it since. The second is a house just to the north. The family was killed during a robbery on their way to the airport. The house was being fumigated and it sat that way empty ever since. Nobody seems to want the thing, but they're just the top layer. Our boy Reese managed to explain that there's a secret garage built under the property. That's where the heaviest footfall is happening. That's where we need to be. We've got the house under surveillance, but Reese gave us the core opening hours. That's when we move. The orders are to arrest at least two suspects at the property for detectives to pursue this investigation. We nail them and get this lab shut down and it's a big check in the wind column. We won't be welcome in this part of town. I'm sure most of you here know how its residents feel about police presence. So this will be a big crackdown. Be advised that we have no information on suspects or civilians other than the possibility many will be under the influence of methamphetamine and be highly erratic and potentially violent on contact. Not to mention gang activity, meaning the presence of firearms on persons within the meth house. So I would advise you proceed with extreme caution. We don't want to cause a riot, and lethal force is only permissible as a defensive measure. Am I clear on that? Yes, yes sir. I want us to split into three teams. First team, I want you to take the first property. Sweep it. Arrest anybody that gets in your way. I want that house cleared and the garage held. Nobody gets in and nobody gets out until we've processed them. This mission is just as much about making a statement to the 213 district as it is about anything else. All right, so with that done, I didn't listen to anything he said because my mind, it just it dozed off somewhere else. And look, we got a John Doe as a suspect. There are many more suspects in this. And civilians, meh, there ain't nothing. And of course, with some media here and there and a witness statement, which I do not care for. Um, I'm going to change my loadout a little bit. I'm going to have a shotgun instead. Because I feel very upset that my previous officer, team member, got incapacitated. So I'm really going to make sure to in incapacitate these next people. <laughs> I'll be using the gas mask because, listen, this takes place at night and it's very dark. So instead of using that, I'll be using this. Night vision goggles. No one else needs night vision goggles but me. So I'm not going to put no night vision goggles on anyone else. And now what's cool about this is that, you see, there's this thing called an, I, an IR laser. I think that's IR. It could be LR. I don't know. But basically, this is a night vision laser. So you can only see the laser pointer when you have the night vision goggles on. And that means no one else can see it. But here's the problem. Uh, I don't think this has that. So it wouldn't matter. But I'm still have it on my side on it anyway because it looks cool. So this shotgun is highly accurate, very powerful. Basically, if I if I shoot you with this, you're not gonna be incapacitated. You're you are going to die. That's just how it is. And the reason why I'm using such a powerful weapon is because, like I said, I'm upset. So that'll be them in the that'll be them if they resist arrest. I'm being serious. Anyway. This is a 7 shot capacity as well, so... <sighs> Hopefully I don't miss. Because when I do, I usually get cooked. <laughs> Alright, boys. 
one of our officers got incapacitated, and that was my fault. So I'ma be, I'ma do better next time. All right, none of y'all better, none of y'all gonna get incapacitated. <laughs> all right. This is talk. Suspects have a foothold in this area, and they're refusing to cooperate. Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. All right. So we're gonna go down the road over here. I forgot to look at the map. Uh oh yeah, that's confusing. I don't even Oh yeah, that's the cameras. Uh I don't know if this is accurate or not. Could be, but I don't need it. Okay, that's the main house. Okay, that's a little bit too bright. So we're going to go in through this second place over here on the side. It's a lot more quiet. Element. Split the door. Copy. Let's see what we got here. And no, the night vision doesn't work when you put the mirror under the door. I wish it did. You're in my way, sir. Be quiet. You want to get fired? Is this pepper spray? Okay. Need you to slide over. How about you? How about you slide over? Start a search. Got it. There usually be people on that second floor. Did you not just hear what I just said? Move in and clear. Ten and four. Moving. Opening on the what room. What the? F what are y'all doing? I said in this room. Search this room. Search the room for contacts. Okay, y'all being scared. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, ain't no one in there. So y'all just Falling suck. behind me. Y'all point. Y'all just suck. Y'all suck. Okay, we, there's some evidence in here. We need to talk. Collecting evidence. How come on practice mode, the team is a lot more cooperative? Okay, no one through here. Oh, of course. Why well, keep? Anyway, the reason why I hate this map so much is because it's too big. And people love to be hiding in corners that I don't find until 20 minutes later. Oh, I don't know who was that making that noise, but... Move! Thank you. Anyway. Police! Heels off! Hands in the air! What are you running to? What the heck? Get down! You're stupid! You one suspect down. Search the room, dang nabbit! Going in a cup. Securing suspect. Okay, zipped up. Good to go. Making it safe. Don't go up there. Behind me. I'm with you. What is he doing? Stay calm. We'll get you out of here. Cops! Deals off! Stinks in here. Civilian element Oh, Civilian ready for someone up here too? Talk I can't even see nothing. Great work, entry team. Keep it up. All right. I'm barely using this. Blue team. So I'm gonna have you over here. Post up and cover the area. Ten four. And and now I'm gonna have you over here. Red team. Good. Post up and cover. Moving up. And then I can execute both at the same time. Unlock. Go, 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 go. Going in. Opening on the left. Failed rescuing all civilians. Are you serious? This is all your fault. Who is the civilian? Moving into handcuffs. Suspect cuffed and secure. Look at the. I'm going. Y'all suck. I can't believe this. Talk. Collecting evidence. Why ain't y'all collecting evidence? Uh, why I gotta do this? Why I gotta do everything? I should've went in by myself. Y'all just something else. Y'all can't do nothing right. See, I'm supposed to just be here as like... Emotional support. Y'all supposed to be doing all the work, not me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where's your problem? Drop your weapons. Get on the ground. Do it now. Yeah, exactly. Going into cover. Get down on your knees. Don't move. Understand? Moving into handcuffs. All right. Got him. Top. One in cuff. Good to go. Please talk. Top. Reporting. Cuff. Roger. Trailers inbound. Down on the ground. They move. need to talk. 
Done. All right, this Talk reporting. Roger that. Trailers incoming. Proceed with caution. There usually be one person in this room, but not today. Okay, that's good. Because that person that usually be in this room ran down the stairs and got shot immediately. But um now we have to go in here. Okay, there better not be no one in this room. I'll be mad. Okay. So usually we can collect this as evidence, but since we found the two what was you gonna it? Move? There you go, tell me to move again. Okay, we found locate two. Okay, we found the second one. The second storage. We need to find the first one. And it's usually in this room. Is there anyone behind this door? It's empty. Okay, that's good. And okay, all this is all right. Go up the stairs, clear it out. Move in, clear the room. Doing it. Bridges. Opening on the left. I got Drop nothing here. Light. Police, hands up. Oh, it's empty. All right. On my six. I got you. Let's go back down the stairs. And now we have to go across this little whatever you call it, a bridge. And there'll be people on the other side. Uh, you don't want to f with math, man. Open and clear. Stack it. Is that door locked? Door is locked. Suck it. Like, why can't y'all do that? Let's clear over here, boss. Move and clear. That's affirmative. Keep clearing. Breaching. Opening on the right. Good here. Fall in. Behind you. Alright. Door up ahead. So when I press F, that is yelling for compliance. And usually when I do that, I can tell where people are at because they'll respond. Dang, you looking traumatized. Hands up, drop to your knees. Police! You got a gun. Entry team to talk. Y'all dummies, man. Talk to element. Roger that, entry team. Entry team to talk. Evidence bagged. Alright. It's still dark in here. Are you serious? You better not. Wait, we're not getting shot at. Alright. Lead the talk. Collecting. Yeah, you see they're doing all this stuff in here. You gotta be kidding me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Who is that? Drake? What the let me see those hands! Oh, okay. Yeah, you ain't ready for that. Down on the ground. No. Hands up. I'll bag it. How did you not get affected? I'll bag it. How does a bed Gonna bag it cover a flashbang? Now somebody Fire. injured. Hands on your head, do it now. Going. Now as you can see in here, well a special little room and then we got this. Put your hands up. Did she did he really tell a kid to put her hands up? That's crazy. Look at this. Incapacity. Element to talk. Civilian in critical condition. This is talk. Copy. Clean house and we'll take them out. They had her on the stuff. Y'all need to go to jail for 50 years. I ain't. Who is that? Oh, okay. Wait, I don't even... Okay, I gotta be careful. People around the corner. Get down now! Hold up. Don't do it! Whatever. Get down! No way! Oh, y'all been cooked. I got it. Affirmative entry team. I could have thrown a, a flashbang, but I didn't do it. Good to go. Evidence secure. Police, get down! Like, listen, man. Y'all getting shot up. I don't care. Because y'all be doing this to children. You, you... 
And, and they're on drugs too, so that's why they're shooting at me with a pistol anyway. Hands up, do it now! Yeah, sometimes people usually be in the closets. Are you serious? If you don't. There you go. Alright, that's the outside. We ain't going out there. We still have to check the um, upstairs. Also, this area as well. Put your hands up! Now, there are people in Enter there. Enter and clear. There, there are people in there. Moving in! Opening on the right. Empty over here. No contact. Hands on your head! Move! Yes, sir. Uh, here there's a hostage somewhere. Are you in this room? Let's go! Where are they going? Okay, you know what? Dropping the light. If you don't. Damn! Hands up above your head! Over here, there you go. He's right. He's in here. Hands up! Alright. Now get on the ground. Hands up! Down on your knees! Okay. We're gonna get you out of here. We're over here. How? What are you talking about? No. We? There ain't one. There's only one person in this room. Civilian in custody and secure. Closing the door. You're crazy. Stop reporting. Roger that. Trailers on me. Move on your six. Okay, that's outside. So now we gotta go back upstairs just to double check. Okay, so that means that everybody else is outside. All we need to do now is just bring order to chaos because we messed up with the civilians. That's for that's for dang sure. And one of them got shot. That's my bad. Are you following me? Okay, good. Now we have to go outside. And they could be anywhere. Well, they ain't over here. That's for sure. Yeah. LFPD, don't move. Where? Get down and put your hands up. Arrest him. Cuff him. I got him. Yeah, okay. So there, I heard there's someone in there. I'm not part of this. I'm a good person. No, you ain't. They, they ain't here, though. They're in here. Well, my bad. I guess I was wrong. They, oh, they, oh yeah, they are in here. Okay, you y'all going in first. Get the door. Clear it. I got it. Actually, throw a flash. Open and flash. Confirm. Flash that. Flash. Locked. Not happening. Why do I gotta do everything myself? Flashing it. Good flash. Move. Yeah. You big. Move and clear. There's still more people. There's still more people. They're usually Empty over here. No contact. Cuff. Lights stick out. out. Usually down the middle right here. Evidence secure. Go. Move in. Clear the room. room. I'm going. Yeah. Opening on the left. Y'all stupid, man. Talk reporting over here. Copy no contacts. Notifying Suspect order. Suspect detained. Nothing here, sir. All right. Um, now we just have to. Hey, look at that! Just like that. We got a hallway to the right. Is that it? Entry team to talk. Suspect is deceased. Requesting trailers. Talk. Nothing. Good to go. I got nothing. Got here. it back. Look at that. Stop moving in. Stay on we me. did it. Ride with you. But uh, all the civilians couldn't be rescued, so uh, that's my bad. But uh, yeah, that's how life is sometimes. Sometimes you just can't save everybody. Even though I think the civilians got shot by our bullets. So one of y'all is getting fired because it wasn't me. I should. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. All right. I'm the commander. I I, I have responsibilities. You see, everybody knows this. Where's the other people? Oh, oh, you're back there. Okay, yeah. Successful. Talk to element. Copy that. Put them on safe and let them hang. Great job. Yeah, 
we failed to rescue all the civilians because you know <laughs> this game is hard I know I said I was the best um SWAT commander um civilian kill yeah okay that wasn't my shot though oh great everybody's stressed um I don't know chief of police chief Alvarez, please call 4342 chief Alvarez, your eyes what the heck all this paperwork will be the death of me all right on to the next one and this will be the last one I do for this episode that being the spider seize data center assets point to the owner separating separate seize data center assets point to the owner operating in one of the poorest neighborhoods the role SWAT have the role what's the role I don't even know what the role is row your boat row your boat down the stream what SWAT have been deployed to serve a search warrant on the Brixley Talon time to assist with investigations into an illicit and this is oh okay yeah right there you can tell what this is about you, t you can tell what the campaign is leaning into right now all right everybody ready to roll so if you guys haven't been told yet CID finally received the decrypted metadata from those marked mind jot drives that we seized a week or so ago the data from the images on the drives corroborates information our guys have put together on a small operation running out of the row we're heading over to 7408 Martinez Boulevard with a warrant for the arrest of George Brixley. Current intel, our target has a prior conviction for kidnapping. Did some time in Leavenworth? About three years. He also has a prior felony for conspiracy and sexual assault. He's not going to want to go back to jail. Brixley has firearms training, and we assume he's going to be armed. The structure we will be entering has some quirks to it. Jackson? The intel you gathered last night, what's up with this place? He's running some sort of talent agency, round the clock, all week. Weekends are his busiest times, so minimum one female in the building. Likely more. Could be children, too. Okay, so we could have kids in there. Moving on, the structure has three known entrances. One on the main road, side one, that goes through the reception. One on the third side of the building, and one on the fourth side. We don't know much about the internal space. Floor plans we've got are from the former owners of the building, who had it set up as a clinic. Speaking of clinics, medical. We'll have RAs on scene, as well as pediatric ambulances in case there are any kids. Primary hospital is going to be YMH. Secondary, if we have multiple patients, is going to be Coastal Grove Medical Center. For radio, we're going to be operating on TAC-5 Central Tactical. Make sure your radios are set to TAC-5. Backup channel is going to be TAC-1. Okay. Question time. Anyone? What's our go for use of NFDDs? Interior deployment is authorized based on assessed need. Bang a room if you have to. Anyone else? Perfect. All right, let's go. Remember to watch your mouth. Everything is being recorded. All the time. All right, well, with that said and done, with the suspects, we have George Brixley. Look at this ugly. I mean, six foot two. Anyway, unknown suspects because, of course, he has armed guards and people. There are a bunch of civilians. The media. Yeah, there's no phone calls. What the heck is that? Anyway, with that being said and done, uh, this map. Yeah, this map is accurate. It's accurate. All right, so here's the roster, and everyone's stressed. Uh, Sergeant Hoffman, oh, he's content, so you Sergeant know what I mean. Hoffman, oh, I could get new people. Oh yeah, the paramedic, pacifier. So the paramedic, right, saves the life of another officer if incapacitated during the mission. Very useful. Pacifier also increases the likelihood of suspects surrendering when hit by less lethal mutinations. Well, we don't have less lethal mutinations now, do we? Increase the overall accuracy of your team. I don't need that. I need a paramedic. So, with this, I won't be needing night vision anymore. I'll get my anti-flash. Just spam flash bangs and that'll be it. But since we have to arrest this, uh, George Brick, I forgot his name. I'm going to go with a less lethal form means of, uh, I'll go with less lethal means and that'll be the submachine gun. Very high, has very high accuracy, very low recoil, and just a couple shots into the stomach, he'll be down in a few seconds. All right. Wait, this is AP. What am I doing? 
Is this AP? Okay, that's JHP. Those are hollow points. These also need to be... Go to, go to your loadout, dang it. I'm getting confused. Now, I've done a lot of practice. Look at that. There's always somebody right here. I've done a lot of practice on this map. And the RNG for this map is kind of stupid. But this is looking good so far. Great work, entry team. Keep it up. Damn it. Get down! Get down! Police, hands on your head! What the f- I got one officer down in need of them right now! We have control of the situation. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. So I guess somebody opened the double doors. I knew I should have put a wedge on it. That's how that works. That's why I don't yell for compliance. I just shoot them in the back of the head. Because, listen, if you have a gun, you're already dead to me. Look, 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 look. Anxious, stress, stress. Y'all stressed now. He's anxious. Because I've been shot. That's it. Everybody's dying. That's it. Everybody's dying. George, too. I don't care. Alright, so there's no civilian sitting there at the entrance again. But I told you, man, the RNG is just ridiculous. Stay away from the tents. Yeah, they sure did. Police, get your hands up! Come on. Move in and clear it. Done. Y'all! Police, get down! You gonna move? Oh, yeah, I can move. I can move. What you moving to? LSD! Y'all cooked. Got an opening here. LSD! Y'all cooked. I told you. Yeah, y'all cooked. Get on the ground now! Put your hands up! Police, don't move! Provide support on me. Get down! I want to see hands! I'm dead. Stop! I'm out of ammo. My body. My body. My body. What the heck is wrong with y'all? What the heck? <laughs> what? I know I got shot. Probably got. I'm pretty sure y'all see me die twice. Um, I know that sounds really bad, but look, I'm fine. I'm gonna show y'all what it really means to be a SWAT commander. So. <laughs> Even he's like, I don't want. Why am I here? Drop your weapons. Drop the weapon and put your hands up. Do it. Police, get down on the ground. Are you serious? Close the door. Oh. I hate this. Element to talk. Got a suspect down. Talk reporting. Roger that. Police, don't move. How are you able to move like that? Where's the dang door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? This is all your fault. You should have never ran out the door. These these people usually be in that room. She opened the door and ran out. Look at that. A mag gone just like that. All right. At least at least we wedged the door. But if I get shot any more times, that's it. I'm dead. I'm gonna fall over like a rag doll. All right. Gonna pack it up. You have to help me. Securing. Zipped up and good to go. <sighs> Look at that door wide open. Of course it's locked. That's why we have this. Stop being angry. Why do bullets not work? Why do bullets not work? I should have picked. I should have picked a more powerful gun. I should have. Hands on your head now. Just go. I'll get him ready. Yeah, better do that. Look at my right arm. Not that's my left. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. 
I don't want in here. Why the heck did the flash not work? This is wrong. How you disrespect me like this. They're not going to survive. None of them. None of them. Not one. Oh, bring this dude in alive. Nope. He's done. He's dead too. You gotta bring in this. No, no, no. That's not how it works. They shoot at us, we shoot back at them. And we don't miss. <laughs> You're dead. Make that pop that shot off, I dare you. How? Right in there. That door is wide open. I'm gassing everything. Stay away from the tents. They're good. Talk. Once again. Talk to always around the corner. Roger that. Go. Nope. Mm -mm. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Like your life depends on it. Medical assistance is standing by. Going into cuff. Suspect secured. Oh boy, look at you. Looking like freaking Aiden Pierce. You ain't watchdogs protagonist. Come on, come on, let's go. Setting it down. Ready? Boom! You're cooked? Yeah, be quiet. It says that he was dead, but like you can hear him. Triple. Alright, so with that said and done, Go over here. Okay, no one in here. That door is open. Unlocked. Hands up! Don't move! Alright, check this door. I won't hurt you. Yep. Let's go. Talk. You're talking about a war on the badge. Do you not see how we look? Okay, that's just some regular. I'm like I've never seen nobody look like that in the practice mode. That's some. I mean, he's a cheat code. As you can see here, we have. I did it from a body. Do you really think that makes it any better? Like, are you stupid? Move! What the heck, man? Stop body blocking! Y'all trying to set me up? I'll take it. And that uh, you got a grown man. Okay, yeah. See, this is this is some nasty, nasty. I tell you that much. Some nasty, nasty. All right, over here is that. Oh, but that door is open. Okay, this is. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Where's it? Lock the door. I'll wait it. We can deal with that later. We can deal with that whole room later. Which is good. I'll move over here. Provide cover. On the way. Where'd he go? Is he moving outside? Is he outside? What the? Get down on the ground now. Cough! Provide support on the Police, drop the weapon. Yeah, cough, start coughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like that, don't you? <laughs> Close that door. Yeah, you in here with me now. I know you all don't. 
Put a jam on that door. Wedge ready. Yeah, wedge it. We don't want to deal with that right now. Wedge ready. All right. So with this wedge right here, I can't tell if there are people in here. Uh, but there probably are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them. If you don't take this, blast me. Yeah, I'm going to turn around every time. Empty, huh? Empty, huh? Give up! Nope. Dummy. Look at that. He shot shot up my leg. Are you serious? Yes! You proceed with mission. Look at this. Like, if you don't... It's a bug. It's just a talent agency. No, it ain't. It ain't no talent. Look at how all these people trying to defend you what do they're this. doing. I have a daughter. Of course you do. You You're just using it for money. Roger. Trailers inbound. Did you hear what she just said? Uh, what? Nah. Down on your knees. All right. So there usually be two people on this roof. And one usually be over there. And over there somewhere. So with that being said and done. Flashbang ain't gonna work. Just just clear it. Just 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 clear. Just just clear. Do the door and clear. Getting into play. Why is it AP? No wonder. Anyway. I'm going! Opening on the right. Do your thing while my left leg kind of. Oh, he. Hands on your head. Can light out. Arrest. Move there. Clear I didn't mean to do man. that. Cuffing. Cops are on. Good to go. This is on. Copy entry team. Notifying trailers. Talk. Ready. Supplies in custody. This is talk. Roger entry team. Great work. Keep going. All right. On me. What? Where they go? Where they go? Bring order to chaos. Complete. Oh, so yeah, there was two people up here, but they arrest. Okay, yeah. Got him. I'll get it and secure. All right. The wrong address. Now all we gotta do is just get the rest of the civilians, which should be down here. Search and secure. The room for contact. No one over there. That's for sure. That's for sure. Get down! Get down! I want to see hands. Oh, look, I Help us, please. We're over here. Where? Oh, why you keep saying we? There ain't no way. It's just you out here. What's wrong with your neck? Two elements secure. Copy that. Put them on safe and let them hang. Great job. That took nine minutes. Look how fast my personal best was. Well, that's because my. My team had like, I think it was like the negotiator one or something, where it's like if you press, when you yell for compliance, they just immediately give up. Look at that! Content! Content! Exactly. Hey, look at you. Yeah, you in there with... the wrong guy! Oh, really? We got, I got the wrong guy, huh? Sitting there running a little talent agency, even though you got all these criminal records and you're actually using your agency just to sell off children. That's all you're doing. Now you gotta deal with this dude that's sleeping in the back, probably got some amnesia, some dementia because of all the drugs he's been Hoffman, taking. Call extension 41 yeah, y'all too. Hoffman, yeah, y'all too, especially you sitting there. Look at you. Oh, now you sad. Oh, my daughter. Oh, be quiet. You just mad you ain't getting money. Yeah, see, he just, he knows that he's in jail. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna. Yeah, they both know they're in jail and they ain't nothing they can do. They just sitting there chilling while y'all just having like a freaking mental breakdown, especially you. Yeah, I'll be back. You see that? See them bullets? They could have been going straight through your skulls right now if I wanted. But because I am an officer of the law, I uphold the law, I will not do such a thing. Because y'all have your rights. But these bullets have theirs too. Anyway, that has been episode one of Ready or Not. Um, I know I said I was a good, I was good at the game. I am when I'm in practice mode and I could just run and gun and shoot everything. But here, obviously, you need to be very tactical, you know. So for next time, the next mission we will be doing is a lethal obsession, which is this, 
and as you can see by that fire it's not looking good so mm, hope you all enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe hit that bell turn on notifications for when i post another part i've been teasing on the gamer and i'll see you all next one bye guys